What's up, you beautiful people? And welcome back to the Oromancy Brawl. We're joined here by Bob's Guns, playing some Avatar. I'm playing some Kerrigan. Let's get right to it, boys. <clears throat> Brawl my fighters, plain and simple. Triple Aura. Kerrigan has recently been changed, I think. Uh, creep no longer generates around the bunker. Uh, and uh, I think her creep tumors increase the attack speed of her units that are on creep. Which means her flyers don't get anything. But everything that's an ultralisk uh, or on the ground is going to be jacked up and good to go. So I'm just going to put down some uh, some of these things here. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll put that down over there. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to pick for my auras. I'm going to try and see if I can just run ultralisk down. Uh, just some big thick ultras or like hydras even just like hydras by themselves but we'll see here actually the attack speed buff might be really good for lurkers because lurkers suffer from not being able to attack fast enough i think that's their one major weakness here we got some stukov boys coming in a little infested civilians here and getting stabbed here right away i think I'm, I think I'm just gonna go right for the ultralisk like i'm just gonna say forget about anything i'm going straight for ultras going and then I think also your minerals have been nerfed as well. It used to give 100, now it only gives 50. So, uh, big sad. Big sad, but you have more at attack potential now. So I don't know, maybe that's a little better. <clears throat> All the spine crawlers here. And uh, take them out. There we go. That was two Stukovs, wasn't it? Yeah, that was two Stukovs. All right, my voice is really hoarse. And uh, hopefully, uh, this video's coming out on Friday, but hopefully, like, you know, we're still around and Putin hasn't launched the nukes yet because uh, I'm filming this on Sunday and uh, this morning Putin was like, well, we're going to move the nuclear deterrence up. You know what they really need? We need a military coup in Russia, dude. You got to stop this guy. <laughs> oh my. Is that force? That must be force, boys. <clears throat> I don't even know. It seems to be some good attack speed. Okay, so, oh, my creep comes from here. Oh wow, that's actually a big nerf, having the creep come from there. That kind of sucks. Um, hmm. They come in to get some life here. I know that's not a good looking choice for Ultralisk. But, uh, okay, I guess that's just not a good looking choice for Ultralisk in general. Um, I guess I can keep getting life, because you know what I'm going to get? I'm going to end up getting some Hydralisk. I think that's what we'll end up doing here. Um, I get the chitinous plating, tissue assimilation. And then the burrow charge. Oh my god, look at all those look at all those juicy, juicy zealots here that I'm just gonna chop to pieces. Do I have too much armor on this egg? Oh my goodness. Boom, 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 boom. Man, this one ultralist just went to town. Uh I'm gonna get Earth. Oh that that's what I needed actually. <laughs> Earth would actually be so good. Let's see. Yeah, I have nine armor. The six armor. The only thing that'll hurt these ultras will be Dark Templars. Get some DTs in there. Um, I guess the only way I can counter the because against Borzun, I think I just gotta push through with ultras. I don't think I can beat her any other way. My ground units get destroyed. Um, yeah, I just have to push her with ultras. Well, at least this this is a good uh, good gambit to be going off of. Um, the rates are getting taken out. That's okay. I'm gonna get a gas here because I don't know if I'm getting a chance with it. I'll be honest. Boom, boom. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna attack that banshee on the ground. Get him, boys. Okay, we got some stalkers coming in. Stalkers aren't gonna be enough. Upgrade the armor on these guys. Seven armor ultralisk. Not the not the highest, but you know, not the lowest. Oh man. Oh yeah, boys. Keep healing. Keep healing. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna send out the creep tumor over there. <clears throat> There we go. And these ultras are going to keep on cleaving. Keep on cleaving. Oh, baby. Did he just refresh his life? Did he go into egg form? I think he went into egg form while he was burrowing. Oh, my goodness. That's actually OP, boys. He went into egg form while he was burrowing. And then he just hatched immediately. That's like a, that's like a baby glitch. I don't think that's supposed to be what's happening. But maybe like the egg can't generate as a burrowed unit, so it just turns it into a real ultralisk instead. Otherwise, maybe the game crashes. I don't know. Who knows? I'm going to increase my armor upgrade a little bit more here. All we need is the armor on the ultras, I'll be honest. They're just going to be healing. This one ultra that's getting focus fired is just like healing up to full, basically. Ain't really about to go down at all. 
Um, hey, we got Crescent's rates here. These guys are gonna take care of everything. And I guess not. <clears throat> Black hole coming down on my Ultralisk. You know it was a bad win. Three Ultralisk are just destroying this entire way. They have extra life on them too, which I guess would be very helpful if I had Hydralisk, but I don't have Hydralisk, but you know what? It's fine. These Ultras have literally pushed through this entire wave. I love it. Who needs weapon upgrades, boys? Just be thick. Just be thick and have lifesteal. Um, and lifesteal based on how fast you attack, not how much damage you deal. Um, let's see. I'm going to get some attack damage here, though, because I feel like we are going to need to try and shred these units a bit more. Boom. There we go. My creep is slowly coming up here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to need a few more ultras here. There's a giant stack up here, which is kind of bad. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Are the creepers going to be able to hold it? Oh, all our, all our defense. We're going to probably lose our bunker here. Stukov's aggressive ability here is just going to be a little too much. You guys are probably like, where's Kerrigan? And uh, you know, that's a good question. Where's Kerrigan? Uh, <clears throat> we've got some grenade cars coming in here. Don't know how I feel about that, honestly. Um, grenade cars are a little bit weak. <laughs> They're a little bit weak. And this single Damos Viking here, and that ain't it, boys. That is not it. Although my Ultras here have extra attack speed, though, because they are on home turf. Uh, I just have nothing to deal with the Banshees. Um, yeah, that's my... That's the problem here. I can't really deal with those. I'm just trying to clean up with my Ultras here. I mean... They are kind of cleaning house. A little bit. Oh, jeez. Bob's here sending out the sending out the locust. I don't know. The best I can do is get like I don't know, put down Kerrigan. But even then, she's gonna like die instantly. Um, let's 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 put this on two. Um, <clears throat> oh my God, Han and Horner just gave up on air units. He has one demo spiking now. Oh no. Um. Yeah, that one Damos Viking. Although we're stacked up over here, so that might be good. Do I give Do I give Locus attack speed bonus as well? I don't even know. All right, Kerrigan, you gonna come in here and just blast him? There we go. Just disable all of them. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we got some extra money here. Put down another creep tumor, so we have more. Just I don't know. More defensive turf here. We got some void race here. Kerrigan went down. But that's okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep plowing through with ultras. Uh, I can't deal with Vora air, so uh, I'm just gonna keep sending ultras. The ultras are eventually gonna demand respect. Um, hopefully our hunter horner can pick up the pick up the air. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. And then Bob's is a uh, locust. Are actually gonna take care of these guys a little bit too. Yeah, like, my, my Ultras have pushed through three waves. This is, like, the third wave that's on. Stukov's wave actually isn't that great against Ultralis. Um, the bunkers actually just get eaten alive by the Ultras, because there's units that, like, don't do enough damage to the Ultras inside of them. And then the Ultras just, like... <laughs> they just heal off of them. I think Void Rays are pretty bad against the Locust, so, if, so if, we can, if we can maintain the Death Grip with our Locust here, that would be good. And then Stukov sending in more fodder. Ultralisks are just going to devour that fodder. That's oh, like delicious. We got nine armor on these bad boys here. Basically, zealots do one damage per attack rotation. Um, there we go. Damos Vikings here. This is like actual true synergy, boys. All three of our waves are combining together to synergize. My Ultralisks have devoured everything in sight here. And they just chopped through that bunker. Holy... Yeah, boys. Currently, I'm like cosplaying the Russian military strategy where you ignore air and just uh, drop thousands of tanks on your opponents. You can't kill them all, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get the heroic fortitude there. 
put that down over there. I'm gonna need to uh, get this over here. All right, disable blast. Gotta stop him, boys. Chew up those DTs. Oh, I got black hold. Oh no, that's bad. Black hole. Uh oh. As long as I can chew up enough of these ground units here, it should be fine. Just like, you know. I'm gonna send ultras, have more ultras on the side here. Okay, let's hopefully the locust can stabilize. I think Bob's is too, has two force on his locust. Um, yeah, he's got two force on his locust. So they come into the fight extra fast. Uh, and they have extra range. Actually, the extra range on the locust is actually a godsend. There we go. Get some detection here. I'm gonna increase the attack damage on my ultras. Probably twice, I guess. Yeah, I'll just do it twice. Uh, we'll just have some super juiced up ultras. Uh, maybe I could use some lurkers. I don't know. Because the ultras do gather up a lot of enemies. And then the lurkers can just drop a fatty AoE on them. I don't know. Yeah, because all these enemies are just gathered up here. I think I could use a few lurkers. You know, like one or two. Because uh, at the end of the day, the ultras don't really provide much DPS in on themselves. And unless they come in at a time where my allies' units are here, they are kind of useless. Uh, oh, Ravager's coming in here. Okay, let's get some Lurkers. I'm going to put them right behind them, because Lurkers are fast tunnel. Uh, or fast burrow, so they should be fine. Um, and then, yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to focus on getting some Lurkers. Got to clear the ground. Uh, the increased attack speed on the creep might be very helpful for the Lurkers, though. So that'll be good. I just got 50 minerals. I feel like the mineral nerf hurts Kerrigan the most because Kerrigan's entire strategy is like throwing money at people. Um, that's really about it. Get the seismic spines here. Do these guys not have fast burrow? I swear they have fast burrow. Or am I tripping? No, no, no. Dude, they do have fast burrow. Okay. I'm just gonna blast these air units here. There we go. So hopefully the lurkers here are within range and like are able to like attack stuff. Um, a bunch of invisible things. Get them out of here. There we go. Alright, well I do have two lurkers. There's another lurker here. Apox actually lose to uh, the Kerrigan Ultras if I get a full surround, I think. Because I heal. Um, oh my goodness. Apox going into the swarm host. Uh, there we go. Alright, we got a fat stack coming over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna stack up some lurkers in the center. They're just more they're just stronger when they're more concentrated. Uh, ooh, we almost beat that bunker. Boom. The locust coming in with with the force is actually pretty clutch. They're coming in really fast. That's pretty good. Oh, the the enemy one of the enemy Stukovs just left. Okay. Wow. Well, that happened. Um. Well, now all we have left is the other Stukov and the Vorzoon here. And, uh, oh man. Base is looking a little low on the HP over there. Alright, boys. This guy's an APOC. It is. Oh, he has only air units. Okay, well, he's definitely not holding it. He's definitely not holding it. There we go. Strong Ultras are pretty good, although I don't think I did the most damage. I'm pretty sure it's between Bob's or our guy over here. And never mind, I did the most damage. How? How did I do the most damage? I also took the most damage. Alright, don't question, I guess. I guess the Ultras pulled through. I mean, the Ultras are pretty strong. It's like all these fodder, like these chump fodder units that do like 3 damage to it. Like the 9 armor, extra HP. Um, so yeah, well, if you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later. The tires, let's light some fires. You need a light. They picked the wrong fight.